Hey guys, welcome back to my series on Azure DevOps. In the previous video, we talked a little bit about DevOps as a whole, what it is, how it might benefit you, and so on. In this episode, we're going to dive into the overview tab and check out what it has to offer. Here we have the overview tab. This gives us access to our project summary, dashboards, and wiki. We've got a new project we've started here, so let's go ahead and add a description in. So this new project is one that I'm wanting to work on that will help automate the importing of my photos and video files, and also transcoding. So we'll go ahead and add a description that conveys something to that effect. Project imports videos and photos on mounting of an external drive. All right, so now that we have something of a description, let's go ahead and peek at dashboards. Since this is a new project and we haven't added anything to it yet, we have a lack of what we see in our dashboards. But let's take a look around anyhow. From here, we can easily add new work items to our project. We can also see what work items are assigned, add dashboards for various teams you might have, etc. If you hit edit here, we can see a list of widgets that we can add, as well as where we can access the extension gallery. Let's go ahead and add a build history widget a chart for test plans widget, a chart for work items, and the CFD. This will give us some valuable information that we'll be able to use later as we go forward with our project. We'll go ahead and reorder these so that they look nicer. We can go ahead and configure these now, but again, they won't show anything since there's nothing in the project yet. So let's move on to the wiki. First, let's answer why your project needs a wiki. A project's wiki provides a place where the team can share information. Team members can update or add to the wiki as they complete requirements, fix bugs, or add new features. In the case of open source projects, it provides a place where contributors can learn about the project. As they make additions or modifications, again, those changes can be documented in an easy to read format. Digging in a bit more and quoting from Microsoft's documentation, with a provisioned wiki, you add and edit pages directly within the wiki. All content updates to the provision wiki occur within the wiki. With a published code as wiki, you add, edit, and update content from repos or code. Without going too deep in this video, let's go ahead and create a provision wiki for our project by hitting the Create Project Wiki button. The provision wiki will allow us to add or edit pages, revert to earlier versions, or even make edits offline. Let's go ahead and add a title here. We'll just call this wiki title for now until we think of something a little bit better. From here, we'll go ahead and save, head back to the wiki base, and we can see that we've got a title added. If we want to add more, it's as simple as choosing what it is we want to add, edit, or even move. One cool feature I've noticed I'd like to point out, if we have a wiki page describing a certain feature, we can actually link that work item to that wiki page. Obviously, we have no current work items, but we'll show that sometime later. All right, guys, and with that, that wraps up the overview tab and also this video. If you learned something, consider leaving a like and feel free to continue the conversation in the comments below. Also consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when new content goes live. In the next video, we'll be talking about boards, so stay tuned. <laughs>